Welcome to new Selfish Airs podcast and uh, this is all about the new Selfish Airs version 3.2.0.12 and this version is available for many different devices well, um, for example the Xperia XA2 but also the Xperia X, the Yola one, the Yola C and so on, the Yola tablet so basically all the devices that uh, Selfish Airs officially is available uh, for and I also have one device that I showed you already that is also running this awesome new version and uh, this is the, uh, as you can see here, the Sony Xperia 10 Plus device and as you can see here, also some who followed me knew it already, fingerprint sensor on the side also working on this brand version, brand new version of Selfish S 3.2012 and this version comes with uh, several new uh, features for example a fixed android support a much better android support so if you want to start apps just like let me try to grab uh, have some store apps here just like for example if you want to start uh, the uh, afdroid store let me go here and you want to start the afdroid store you just press on it and uh, to hit it run correctly it is launching a lot faster not only on the Xperia 10 plus device but also on the XA2 and the X device uh, especially also on the XA2 device uh, with the new Alien Dalvik runtime and uh, switching between Android applications and launching them is uh, no problem anymore so the state automatically gets uh, saved and uh, switching apps in the foreground or background in Alien Dalvik is no problem anymore with Selfish S 3.02 3, 3, no, 3.2.0 this way around, confusing uh, those version numbers um, yeah, what's new? Uh, there's a file browser now available in the uh, Alien Dalvik um, I can only show you this. Uh, I don't think I can open it up somehow. The, at least in Android, if you want to share a file or folder with uh, other applications, you need sometimes a file browser to select this file. And this was not previously included. Now it is included in Alien Dalvik, so now you have the option to just simply select a file. I don't have the option to show it to you right now because uh, I forgot to install the Alien Dalvik control which allows me to go into the Android settings to show it to you. Other features that include uh, the Alien Dalvik support is a better performance on uh, low power modes and uh, on high power modes and also can switch automatically to battery power mode also on the Alien Dalvik uh, side of things so it will uh, run a lot more smoothly and will offer you a much broader longer battery life uh, then some other things the battery notification logic was rewritten to reduce the numbers of disturbing notifications uh, if I plug in my uh, USB type-c cable here right now you'll hear it eventually let's try this again only one didn't to notify that it's uh, charging uh, previously there were there were several diddings siddings that uh, noticed you that you are charging and several notifications popped up which is now uh, gone bluetooth uh, low energy support is now built in so if you want to connect uh, to a pair of bluetooth headsets now where do i have my bluetooth headsets i have some bluetooth headsets that support uh, bluetooth le uh, just like for example my Sennheiser PXC 550s that I have here uh, they use Bluetooth LE low energy to connect so if I just open them up they have a nice uh, mechanism to uh, pair devices like this power on and I then uh, can without any issues directly connect uh, this uh, with uh, my uh, phone via Bluetooth uh, which is no problem um, just have to search for the device and then there they are and it will then connect to my uh, uh, PXC 550 if they are in pair mode no problem so Bluetooth support can show you uh, this because I don't want to show you all the Bluetooth devices that are currently available here 
Uh, it's trying to con oh, press something. It's trying to connect something to something. Uh, doesn't matter. Uh, it works pretty nicely. Uh, Bluetooth LE support. Nice that it's now in uh, Safish S. So very nice feature. Uh, then uh, some other bug fixes include uh, the browser fix for uh, Twitter. So if you want to go to Twitter, let me do this quickly. Uh, you now are able to go to the Twitter website again. There was a problem with uh, Twitter before in the browser. Uh, I think it also got um, fixed by Twitter itself. I think somehow they had problems recognizing the user ID. They uh, fixed it now uh, by themselves and which is a nice uh, thing. Then uh, when it comes to wireless LAN, there's now better connectivity support when it comes to EAP support. I can test it right now. I'm in uh, Auckland, New Zealand. This is why it's so sunny. You can see here the sun uh, because it's uh, basically um, spring here and it's getting warmer and warmer. And uh, yeah, looks like that uh, summer is coming soon. And I uh, visited Auckland University and there you have an EAP Wi-Fi and you can log in without any problems. Uh, that's uh, no issue at all when it comes to this. Uh, then there are some other improvements regarding uh, the clock app, for example, which I can show you. So the clock app, you can see here, has this beautiful redesign with the tabs on the top. And you can now have, if you go to, um, if you go to now timer, and I want to set a new timer. What I can set right now is I can set the hours and the minutes and give it a, um, uh, give it a name, just like you usually could. But there's a new option here where I can also select uh, minutes and seconds. So instead of hours and minutes, I can now se select minutes and seconds. And so I can say I want 22 minutes and 39 seconds timer. And I can create a new timer, which has also the seconds here, which is a nice addition for those who need uh, this kind of uh, precise uh, timing as well. Uh, then uh, there are some no snooze intervals for the alarm clock. So if you have a new alarm, let's set a new alarm for uh, around 7.11. And I say uh, call this alarm wake up and hit on save and yeah i have now this alarm here on and when this alarm goes off i have new snooze options for this alarm so i can say i want to snooze this alarm for 10 minutes uh, 15 minutes and so on um yeah uh, the pulley menu is for adding uh, for resetting the reserved for the safe timers to the beginning is also uh, now uh, a lot quicker and a lot better to get to. So this is uh, the clock app. Connectivity I already told you about. Um, uh, Wi-Fi support, a, uh, EAP <laughs> options and uh, Wi-Fi better Wi-Fi support. When it comes to swapping SIM cards, this is now better supported on uh, Selfish S 3.2. Uh, Android support has now the option if you have one SIM card disabled, just like on this device it has dual SIM. If I have, I only have one SIM in, inserted here, you can maybe see it here. Um, and then uh, Android support is still working. This is now not really disabled, it's just not inserted, but I can go to settings and if I am in my SIM card settings I can just uncheck the second uh, SIM card which uh, is not connected to anything and if I do this then uh, Android um, has no problems with uh, connecting uh, and of course this also works with Safish native apps obviously. Uh, the Documents app does not crash on annotations anymore. If you want to annotate PDF files, I don't think I have any PDF files here on this device. Um, but yeah, this is now um, better. Uh, then uh, in the Calendar application, uh, if you add a new appointment or if you added an appointment or something like this, um, or you just hit sync manually or you just uh, do one little thing, one little change in one calendar, it will not sync automatically all calendars. It will only <laughs> calendars. It will <laughs> only sync one calendar and uh, not all the events but only just 
this one event that you edited which is also i think a good addition so especially if you have lots and lots of calendars lots and lots of data in there it will not uh, take a while for it to synchronize with your server which is also a very nice addition to the, all of this uh, then the messages app uh, there was a problem with sms sending this is now also gone and the phone app has a nice new addition in cooperation with uh, the um, team of uh, Safish Mobile OS Russ uh, or Aurora OS. Uh, they implemented some uh, nice um, uh, functions, just like a call reminder. Don't want to show you the call. The uh, ah, it's empty anyway. Um, uh, but in case someone called you and you it shows up in a history you have the option to add a call reminder so if you're just busy because you're now in a meeting or something like this you can say okay uh, remind me in an hour or remind me in a two in two hours and this is i think a very good feature especially when it comes to business uh, kind of stuff um, by the way looking always here because there's my little uh, sh cheat screen <laughs> telling me about all the new great new features of services because there's so so many great new features of the new version that i have to read it from a list um the call ending there dialogue has been redesigned and allows us uh, now to select not only end the call um, but also say okay I want this uh, uh, um, this option to call back especially if the call ended not because you clicked on call end but just uh, some interference or the caller accidentally ended the call you have the option to just call back so there's a button to call back directly which is I think a nice addition and uh, send a message if you want to send a message um, because you had to uh, 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 end the call because something happened around you can send a message uh, to the caller or you can add a reminder this is how you by the way add a reminder as well uh, incoming calls now display country of the caller which is also might be imp uh, very important I'm here now in New Zealand so I'm you see here this is the symbol for roaming uh, so I'm roaming here right now and that means of course I have to pay if someone calls me uh, and if someone calls me from outside of New Zealand I have to pay even more so it's nice addition so I can see which country code uh, he's calling from and if I really want to answer this call I really want to spend this much of um, money uh, also very important and uh, very interesting um, yeah then there was also an attempt made to prevent calls from being accidentally held in the especially Xperia X devices um, the proximity sensor utilization was tweaked to improve the reliability of in-call blanking behavior so this is also now done you can change it back if you don't like the new behavior uh, because the new behavior has some disadvantages uh, the change uh, affects the sneak peek feature so you when you are calling and you want to sneakily uh, check something in a calendar or something like this you cannot do this uh, sneak peek feature like this uh, on the um, calling interface anymore some would call it a drawback but this is configurable uh, via a command line uh, tool you can configure it back to the old uh, defaults if you like to yeah and of course some improvements in stability when when it comes to calling and settings uh, a lot a lot of more um, advantages more fixes more bug fixes in sfjs 3.2 these are only a few ones a lot of security issues ha have been fixed uh, sim card swapping has been fixed uh, the file manager oh i think the file manager i can show you um by the way Yola, make maybe the file manager option to have an icon on the desktop so you can directly jump into the file manager not go into settings which is uh, weird i know that there's a package which will directly jump into my data thing but i want to directly jump into the file manager not only the data uh, section would be a nice addition so let's go to the file manager and open up uh, some files here uh, so there's something no new in the storage uh, section of your uh, devices and if you have the file manager open here this is the interface of the Yola file manager the default one that you can find under setting storage um, if you click on one of the um, options there um, either SD card or your own personal data on the internal uh, memory uh, it shows now the folder size in uh, the details page so let me go to the details page uh, long press press on details and you can see it will show you the uh, folder um, 
size now in the details page so if you want to copy it uh, somewhere you have at least the size now to see uh, if it is possible <laughs> to copy this uh, also if you want to copy something and you accidentally try to paste it in the same directory it will print an error message now telling you that you cannot copy into uh, or onto itself you cannot copy onto itself if there's a file name conflict uh, UX-wise, there's also a um, new thing. Let me. What can I delete here safely? Let me show you the, this. The, the lens itself, I, I think, if the pen was. Oops, something went wrong. Um, something started playing in the background. My, my Bluetooth speakers uh, triggered something. Um, if I hit delete here, you can see this is the animation and some of these animations have been uh, redone especially the ones that are on top so this little on top animations i'm not sure if you can trigger this one somehow but they these have been redesigned um to be more clearer more understandable for the user and i think this is a good thing uh, especially for new users who are not used to this kind of um, remorse pop-ups remorse timers uh, that allow you to uh, change certain things so this is very important uh, change very good change i think uh, the brightness of the polymony indicators have also been changed you can see here they are not a uh, they are now a lot brighter than it were than they were before i can change uh, maybe to another um, uh, ambience as you can see here it's a bright red so also new users see directly oh there is something hidden there that i can use and uh, yeah also a good thing and a lots of uh, lots and lots of bug fixes have been improved here uh, have been fixed here to improve the system overall and uh, email application i lost uh, where was the email application uh -huh. the email application now uses the os name instead of yola in the default email signature so if you're an aurora os user it will use aurora os uh, or aurora as a name uh, dropbox uh, stuff has been fixed so if you want to add a new dropbox account this is now also possible lots and lots of other fixes of course uh, phone specific fixes as well in there and yeah i think we are in a good way and uh, hopefully to see the new version uh, three to one i think i heard about uh, some uh, new version coming out then uh, shortly after three uh, to zero is out and yeah, um, these are basically all the prominent new features of Cephras 3.2.0.12. Uh, uh, was an earlier access release, was then a week after this uh, released to all Yola and Cephras uh, officially Cephras X devices, officially supported devices. I hope you enjoyed this little uh, video demonstration about uh, the new uh, version. If you have some comments, uh, some uh, uh, some questions about Savage Jazz uh, and this new version you can ask of course in the comments section give it a like and uh, share the video and until the next time bye